Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. We're across the Hudson River in New York City today talking with Tori Bowie, track and field star of the 2016 Olympic Games. Competing in both sprints and long jump, Bowie put on her breakout performance at the Summer Games in Rio de Janeiro, leaving with a medal of each color. She's back in the U.S. now, eager to show off her hard-earned hardware, continue her training, and start a career outside of track and field. It has been such an amazing journey. Um, from a little town in Mississippi, right? From, yeah, from a little town in Mississippi called Sand Hill. Um, this, this, this journey has been overwhelming, honestly. Um, you know, I kind of went in and I didn't expect anything. I didn't expect anything. I told my team that I was going to just try to go in and do my best and not expect, you know, not expect more, not expect gold, not expect anything. We just go there and do my absolute best. And, you know, coming back with a, a gold, a silver and a bronze is absolutely amazing. Now, when I read your bio, this isn't something you were doing when you were a very young person, right? Right. Tell me about that. How did you get involved with it? So, I got into track and field. Um, because my high school coach made it mandatory. It wasn't my choice. Um, you know, I was on the basketball team and I went to a really small school, um, a graduating class of 44 people. And she, we had a basketball team, but we hadn't had a track team yet. And she created one and we didn't have enough people. So she basically made it mandatory for the basketball team to run track as well. Once we actually made the team, she basically just pointed out who was going to do which events. And she had no idea who was talented and what, but she basically said, hey, Tor, you're in the long jump. And that's basically how I started jumping. You know, I didn't think I was, honestly, I didn't know if I was going to make it in the 100. <laughs> um, technically, there was probably like, I, in the semifinals, there's, technically it was my worst race ever. And um, we had to basically place top two to get into the finals. And, and oh my gosh, it was not looking good as I was running that 100 meter. But, you know, <laughs> uh, Thankfully, I got into the finals and um, tried to head, I had to regroup because the semis was so terrible. So I had to regroup for the finals and I was determined to go out there and try to finish top three. To prepare for the finals, you just basically have to have confidence. So you basically just tell yourself that I've done this, so, I've done this several times before. My training has been going extremely well, so I should be extremely confident. And, um, that's kind of the outlook that I took into to the finals. You know, my coach was panicking more than I was. He was panicking because of how my race looked in the semis. And I was, I just patted him on the back and I'm like, coach, don't worry, you're good, I'm good. And um, that's the kind of energy that I took into the race. Now, when you found out you were going to the Olympics, how mm -hmm. did you prepare at that point? Mentally and physically? Um, did you think much about it? I didn't think much, more, much about it. Um, because after the USA trials, I was exhausted. So it took me almost two weeks to basically recover from, from, the, from the national. So I never even- Physical cover. Physically. Right. Right. So I never even actually thought about the Olympics because I was so into the moment of just trying to get my body back prepared, you know, prepared for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So then you, you head up to Rio, what was that like? So I was kind of skeptical about Rio before I got there because I've never been there before and you know the media has said nothing but negative comments about Rio. Right, right. Health, health <laughs> so, reasons, that sort of thing, right? So after hearing everything I was anxious to see how Rio was. But you know once I got there the, the conditions weren't good, they weren't perfect, wasn't even close but I had, I had it set in my mind that no matter what happens in Rio, no matter what goes wrong, no matter how it looks, you know, I said, um, I'm prepared for this, you know? Mm -hmm. So I kind of went there already prepared for the worst, right, <laughs> if right, that makes right, right. sense. Yeah. <laughs> so with all the metal that you brought back, let's start with the bronze. Um, what was that like? Not, not getting the gold there, but bringing a bronze home. What was that like? Oh, not getting the bronze. 
Well, I wanted silver first. So I won my silver, then I won a bronze. But the bronze was, you know, I was just as happy about my bronze as I was about the other Tell two. Tell me about that. I was just as happy about that one because, you know, this is my first time trying to do two events in a, in a, in a um, competitive competition like the, the you know, the, like the Olympics. Right. So I said, if I finish at 200, if I cross a line, I'm going to celebrate <laughs> because I was tired already. And, you know, once I crossed the line and I realized I'm in third, I'm like, okay, it's just as good as first at this moment. You know, because I accomplished my goals, and that was just finishing, and that's a huge accomplishment for me. Right. And then what about the goal? What was it like knowing? You oh my it? gosh, that's when I fell in love. So, so after getting the gold medal, it was a, it was just a completely different feeling from the other two. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Now I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for both the silver and the bronze. But holding that gold medal, it was like. I was like, this is, this is where I'm comfortable. This is my comfort zone here. So. <laughs> I bet you never imagined that could happen, right? Well, in the relay, yeah, I, I kind of figured we were going to get go. I mean, I don't sound, mean to sound cocky, but I mean, our team, it just doesn't, it didn't match up to anyone else's team. You know, we had three ladies uh, from the world, from the USA trials that ran a 1070, right. you know, and that just doesn't exist. <laughs> you know, that's like unheard of. So I knew like once my team and I, you know, once we got prepared mentally, I knew that everything was going to take care of itself. Outside of your time with the Olympic Games, how was Rio overall? It's a beautiful place. Um, as, as far as, you know, the oceans and the mountains and just the, just the overall scenery was beautiful. I was more into trying to recover from each race because I ran almost every day. So I didn't actually get to enjoy Rio like probably like everyone else did. I would simply tell the, the youth to just, if, if this is what you really want, if this is a career that you want to pursue, then you're going to have to be extremely patient with your progress. You're going to have to be determined and stay focused. But I think patience is the most important key because you know, in this sport, we could we could train for a whole year or two, and we only improve by uh, a tenth of a second. You know, so it's kind of like patience plays a huge role. So, what's next? What's the rest of the chapter of your life going to look like? The, what's next? I have so much on my schedule right now. Um, I want to just pursue a different a few a different career um, with some acting and some modeling which I have no experience at all, but I just feel so confident that, I can, that I'm prepared to do it. And I have, right now I have like some fashion, I'm coming back for fashion week, and then I'm going out to a fashion week out in LA. Um, and I'm walking and I won't be walking in, I won't be walking in, in sportswear. So <laughs> this would be, this would be, a, this would be a different experience for me. I'm excited about it. Great, well thank you. Good luck in all that you do. Thank you for being on our show. No worries, thank you. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.